In this video, we see the second important property based on the inverse of a function. In the previous video, we saw the first property and also saw the illustration to the same. In this video, we also would see a question which is important from the point of view of examination. Let's read the property, let's see a question regarding to it. Inverse of a bijection is unique. That means if I have a bijective function and I would be finding the inverse of it, I would have or I should at least have only one inverse, nothing more than that. Let's see a working problem based on the same. The question given to me is a function y which is equal to x square plus 1. The function that I have been given is x square plus 1 and what is needed? You are supposed to find f inverse of x if y is equal to fx. So the question tells me that y is equal to fx and I need to find what is the f inverse of x. Let's see how to do the problem. In such questions as we already know that if y is given you need to first find what is x. So if y is equal to x square plus 1, I have to go about the next step by finding y minus 1 is equal to x square. I just need to find x and not x square. So we would be taking square root on the both of the sides and I would be having x is equal to under root y minus 1. But since it is a square and it is a square root, it would be preceded by two signs, plus and minus sign. This value of x we have obtained plus minus under root y minus 1. But what did the property say? The property said that inverse of a bijective function, inverse of a bijection should be unique. If inverse should be unique, how can we get two inverses? Because in the next step, what we had done in the previous questions, we would be doing the same thing here. According to us, the answer should be this last step. But it is not possible to find inverse when the bijection is not there or when you don't get unique things, the answer actually should not there, should not be there, it should not exist. So I say that this is not the answer and I have to write inverse does not exist. Inverse does not exist. So actually what happens is if you have a bijection, if you have a bijection, always you would get a unique inverse. But in this question, you were given a function which was x square plus 1. And if you check this is not 1, 1 on 2, this is itself not a bijection. So you did not give, get a unique inverse. I would be explaining it further. Let's check what was the problem in the question. The problem in the question was simple that it was not 1, 1 on 2. I would be checking x square plus 1 for 1, 1. I write here 1, 1. According to me, it should have been fx equal to fy, then x equal to y. So it should be x square plus 1 equal to y square plus 1. 1 and 1 get cancelled. So x square should be equal to y square. Now, when you take square root, you don't have x equal to y always. You would be having x equal to y or it can be also negative cases when negative sign is there. Because what happens is if you take the square of a negative number, minus 2 square is also 4 and 2 square is also 4. So the same story applies here that when square is again separated into the form of square roots and the final conclusion is derived, it is not always you get positive things. You can also get negative. The square root of 4 can be minus 2 also and 2 also in this case. So that is why it is not 1, 1. And since it is not 1, 1, it is not a bijection. Since it is not the bijection, this question does not have any inverse. So in this video, what did we see? We saw that inverse can be found out only to a bijective function and that inverse is always unique.